been a small mistake last week at Vegas, spinning out, racing for a championship. Those are things you can't afford to make. Two laps until we see the checkered flag. Mike Walsh, Ron Hornaday, one and two, coming out of the trial. Green flag back in the air. All right, come on down, right now. There's one out of gas back there, Phil. Yeah, one shaking out of gas down on the apron. We won't make it back. You didn't get out of the way. We're going to I think they'll, they'll run two laps before they even slows it before he even stops. Here comes Ricky Carmichael and James Bush are just in front of him. Got to somebody. That was a 17 of Timothy Peters that was running out of gas. Now we've got the 33 of Mike Wallace in front of Ron Hornaday. Down the back stretch they go. Here comes James Busher and Ricky Carmichael running third and fourth. And we know how fast those two trucks are. The first time we've seen them hooked together. Can they run up there and do something with our two leaders? Three wide back 10 through 20. And they're spreading out as they come out of turn number four. If they get to the white flag here to the start finish line before the caution comes up, if the next flag will finish this. We hope we don't see another caution. Across the strike. One lap to go. Mike Wallace just in front of Ron Hornaday. Now the big question. Will there be KHI orders for Hornaday to win this race? That can't happen, Phil, because here comes Busher and Carmichael. They do anything other than what they're doing. They're going to lose that first and second spot. They've got to hang right like that. Until the very last second, there's a chance at the start finish line. Maybe one of them pulled out, but here comes Busher. Here comes the run by Busher and Ricky Carmichael. Going into turn number three. Wallace and Hornaday, one and two. How about Jason White, top on I, top of the racetrack, hooked up. Coming out of turn number four, this is where all the action will take place. Here comes the run. James Busher trying to go to the outside. Mike Wallace being pushed by Ron Hornaday. Through the dry hole. 400 yards to go. It's going to be Mike Wallace is going to win this one at Talladega. And that is a Kevin Harvick Incorporated win right here. Hey, uh, Great job, Mike Wallace. Great job, Ron Hornaday. Couldn't they, dream of it any better like that. In baseball, they talk about manufacturing runs. That team manufactured a victory. And that was a team victory. No question about it. Mike Wallace was pushed around this racetrack for virtually 54 laps by Ron Hornaday. The ones that he led, that was Ron Hornaday pushing him around this racetrack. And I think if maybe they had a bigger lead at the end, we might have seen a different outcome, but Michael hit it right on the head. They couldn't take a chance. They were not going to give that win away by, by just by trying to get Ron Hornaday out in front. I would have tried to put a few hundred feet to go. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was close, man. Let me just give it a shot. But, uh, what a smart move by Ron Hornaday. He's racing for a championship. He comes in here some 20 points out. He's cut back to uh, to 16. Our championship battle at one point, Austin Dillon had some 20 points over everybody. Now he's only three ahead of James Busher. Again, Austin Dillon had to go back. He finishes seventh unofficially in this race. Ray Dunlap. I'll tell you what, guys, if they ever write a program about how to make teamwork work, that was it today, Bruce Cook. How'd you guys do it? I can tell you one thing. Uh, what, what happened today was Kevin Harvard. The man is so good at what he does in, in, in uh, drafting and experience of this. We brought a we brought a gun to a knife fight. We weren't going to bring a knife to a knife fight, so we were prepared for this. Um, them two guys did a great job. Kevin talked to him the whole race and, and did such a good job of coaching him. Ron's never had to do this, so it was new to him. And uh, Mike, what can I say about him as being a speedway racer? He's just awesome there for KHI and uh, good Marksville kicks butt. How about seven wins for you this season? Yeah, it's, it's been a good uh, a good season so far. Um, Chris Carrier is taking care of the 33, and I take care of two. And next week we'll swap again, but. What a great year so far. All right, congratulations, Mike Wallace and Ron Hornaday, the tag team today. Showed them how to do it at Talladega. Ray, that is the sixth one-two finish for Kevin Harvick Incorporated in the Camping World Truck Series. I think this may have been the most impressive one-two finish they've ever had because, Michael, this race was won in the shop back in Kernersville, North Carolina, because they had that science out. They had the cooling system science out. They knew what they were going to do. They did it from lap one on. I love it. I love what those that team did. Uh, again, I agree with Bruce Cook. Congratulations, Kevin Harvick. That, uh, that's how you put a plan together right there. How about the excitement and Mike Wallace? You're the 52-year-old out of St. Louis, Missouri. Last time he went to Victory Lane in the Camping World Truck Series was back in 2000 at Mesa Marin. We don't even run at that track anymore. What did you say? That the, 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 nothing says speed better than Anderson's maple syrup. If you don't know what fast is, you got to think maple syrup. That'll, that'll get it done in a hurry. Mm.
Opposite end of the spectrum, though, disgusted look on the face of Austin Dillon. Let's go down to Hermie. Well, Ron, 